Uh, I know that many Albertans, myself foremost, have been frustrated with uh, the ongoing blockade, the interruption of other people's lives, the violation of other people's rights, the safety hazard that this represents, uh, and we'll be very distressed to learn about this uh, small group that apparently uh, have had violent intent uh, at, that were uh, involved and have been identified and now detained. Uh, this uh, underscores the severity of what has been happening. And, and to those who have been impatient about enforcement, I ask them to understand that um, this investigation has been ongoing uh, for the past, over the past week. And the RCMP obviously did not want to uh, escalate the situation that could provoke uh, potential violence uh, until they had a tactical plan in place at the appropriate time to take enforcement action and to seize these weapons as they've done early this morning. Uh, and so now that uh, the RCMP has successfully resolved uh, this potential threat, uh, they will proceed, I'm informed, uh, with enforcement against uh, others who are involved in the blockade uh, at and around Coots. Uh, the government of Alberta has successfully procured all of the necessary heavy equipment and service uh, to uh, uh, operate that equipment to assist the police in removing um, commercial vehicles and other vehicles that may be blocking our highways. Throughout all of this, it's important to underscore that traffic across the uh, Alberta-Montana border has operated largely unimpeded because we have six ports of entry uh, between Alberta and Montana, five of which have continued to operate uh, according to either normal or in fact extended hours. I'd like to thank the Canada Border Services Agency and the uh, United States uh, Customs and Border Protection Agency uh, for their diligent cooperation uh, in extending hours and providing uh, those services. And so I, my message to those who are still involved in the blockade at Coots is that you know you have not closed the border. All you've done is to inconvenience thousands and thousands of hardworking truckers who have been trying to do their job to make a living, just forcing them to drive longer distances for no point. You've sent your message. We encourage people uh, to continue to express their views in a lawful and peaceful way. Uh, but the ongoing blockade of our borders and our highways at Coots will no longer be tolerated. And now that this uh, very uh, delicate security challenge has been resolved successfully by the police, as I say, uh, broader enforcement measures will commence. Um, and of course, the government of Alberta will be there to support that every step of the way.